Repositioning the design on the media display area can be done in several ways. The first way is by adjusting the position values for the X and Y directions, X being side to side direction and Y being the up and down direction. The other method would be to hover the mouse over the design in the media display area, click and hold the mouse button, and drag it to a new position. An option that can be helpful to this is the interactive button here. Clicking this will tell the cutter to interactively move the tool head to that location. If we are not sure how it's going to fit, we can click on the button next to the interactive button, which will tell the cutter to move the tool head in a rectangular motion, showing the boundaries of the design if it were cut. The next section allows for the whole design to be scaled to size by entering the width and height. By entering question mark for percentage size, or by checking this box, we can have it fit to the width of the drawing area. For right now, let's scale this job to 25%. This will give us an opportunity to demonstrate how to make multiple copies, which is this value here under copies. As we increase the number of copies, it will start building the matrix across and up. It will not allow the copies to go beyond the media display area. Thus, if the media display area size is set correctly, this can really give us an idea of how many copies we can have, especially if we have a sheet of media loaded where the cutter area is limited. The next value is the distance between each copy. Right below it is a checkbox to repeat the job. You may be wondering what is the difference between this setting and copies. The difference is that when making copies, all the copies made are considered one job, whereas repeat job will resend the job within media display area repeatedly. Let's set the copies to one and the size to 50%. These bottom four buttons are for the quick orientation of a job. The first button will position the design on the media. Let's click on the button for position. We are given four choices. The first is for placing the design in the lower right corner of the media display area. This will probably be the one that is used most. The second button positions the job in the lower middle. The third is for positioning the job in the center of the total media area. Be careful with this choice. Notice that our media length is 1,964. If it were to place in the middle of the media, it would place half of that and your design would disappear. If that happens, just click on the first choice again and it will reappear. The last choice positions the job on the bottom left corner. Let's switch it back to lower right. The button next to it will rotate the job to 0, 90, 180, or negative 90 degrees. The third button flips or mirrors the job. The last button will only cut what was selected in the design. For instance, if we go back to the drawing by clicking done, select the three rectangles, Come back to our cut plot options. This button becomes active and we only see the selected objects, these three rectangles. If we click on it, we then see the complete design. This is a great feature when needing to recut an object in a design that got damaged, perhaps while mounting the design onto the substrate. Let's reset the size to 100% again. We're going to skip the second tab on paneling or tiling a job, as well as the fourth tab with more advanced options, since we'll be covering these in a later lesson. Let's continue with the options page. The first option we'll cover is an option for placing weed lines on your drawing. Weed lines are added cut lines for making the removal of excess vinyl material easier. The weed border checkbox either enables or disables any weed border. 
Once it is enabled, it will cut a path that is represented by this dark red line in the media display area. If we increase the panel margin, it will increase the distance between the design and the weed border. There are other weeding options that are quite useful. To demonstrate these more effectively, we went back and selected just the text in our design, which is currently displaying in the media display area. The next couple of options will place weed lines in strategic locations for better weeding. Horizontal weed lines adds horizontal weed lines between lines of text or objects. Vertical weed lines add vertical weed lines between characters or objects. Horizontal split lines adds horizontal weed lines within the objects. Vertical split lines adds vertical weed lines within the objects. The vertical and horizontal split lines provide simpler weeding. Easy Weed provides a weed border around each object. A weed margin value is provided, as well as a choice to provide around groups and text. As you can see, there are several choices. We suggest experimenting to find the weeding pattern that works for you. Advance After Plot, when enabled, has the cutter feed the material forward after the job is cut. This way it will be easily removed from the roll. Once the settings are set, the job can be sent to the cutter. But first, let's go back to our General tab and take Cut Select Only since we want to cut the complete job. Now we can send the job by clicking on the Send button. Once this is done, the job can be seen in the job list above. Right now it is on hold because, recall earlier, we set the send mode to hold on list. To release a job, we'll switch to the Productions Manager queue by clicking on the green button above. When in Productions Manager, notice the jobs in the queue. It lists the job, the cutter, job name, its status, sender, dimensions, and number of copies. At the top are action buttons for the selected job. We can abort the job, which becomes active once the job is sent. This only stops the job, but doesn't delete it. Next to this is the delete button, or in this case, send the job by clicking on send. Keep in mind that the job can be sent without putting it on hold and can be sent immediately. That's the end of this lesson. While we covered the basic options of cutting, we will cover some of the more complex options in later lessons.